Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. First Tellurium Corp, the future of mining. And Hardy, rods and reels. Good day everyone and welcome to another segment on the bench. Today I'm going to tie you up a little variation of Craig Matthews X Caddis. Um, this one here, I've got a few different materials I'll go over with you right away and we'll uh, tie this little fly up. It's a great producer. Uh, I'm going to be using a Tiemco 100 size 14 dry fly hook. The thread, I'm going to be using some dot tan thread. The, um, the body, I'm going to be using some Semperfly Kapok dubbing. This in the Adams color, the gray. It's a floating dubbing. It's actually made with the materials that they used to build uh, life jackets out of, the same material inside. Um, we're going to add, uh, this is Stelcup's trailing shuck on this fly here uh, in gray color. You can pick those up and if you don't have those, you can also just get yourself some Zelon and make your shucks with the Zelon. That works out well. It comes in all the different colors. Uh, my underwing, I'm going to just use a little bit of fibers from this ice wing here, the UV. I like a little of that, this little add-on. To rib the body, I'm also going to add some uh, iridescent pearl, 1 69th inch uh, rib. Um, it makes a really nice rib, very attractive from the bottom. Don't lose the color of your fly that way, but it does give a nice add-on for that. The wing, I'm going to use some very fine uh, deer hair. This is more like a hawk. Uh, and this is also elk hair. You can use that as well. That's uh, elk hawk for sure. Nice short tips on that. Deer is going to be easier to work with than the elk because it's not as stiff. It actually goes on a little nicer. So let's tie this version up. Just You don't need the hackle on the body here because you have a floating... Uh, dubbing that makes quite a difference so we'll grab one of our little trailing shuck these are pricey little rascals i still got some from my shop years ago i didn't get them all sold of course they're pretty pricey for the average guy but they they really will look good in the water i'm going to put these in my own box and try them out i, I fished them before they work good shane cell stell cap has come out with uh some pretty good uh innovative tying materials over the years throw a half inch in got my rib on there then we'll bring in our dubbing here this kapok dubbing you want to kind of work these fibers out thin that out a little bit you get a nice i like a buggy dubbing body on the more buggy this material is from sample fly the better it that's really the secret to even get it to float even better. If you mash it down, you want to brush it out. Get those fibers out. A nice kind of a looser dubbing. Don't want it too tight. I'll put a few turns of my rib in there. Iridescent rib. Some of these X caddis, I've seen them tied and I've fished them. And I tie them that way myself with just the pearl body. And they work good too. So now I'll come in here with a little bit of my uh, ice wing. I'm just going to take a few little fibers. That's going to mix in with my deer. Pull it back. Don't want anything too long. I'm going to grab some of my, I'll use some of that light colored deer here. Make sure you clean the under fur out before you stack it. This looks like a body here. It does have the under fur in it. The hawk won't have too much of that in it. Put that in my stacker. You want to get a good stack on this. Do it on a hard table instead of your foam pad on your tying table then you get a nicer stack job cut 
coming back right to the end of the body. When I pull, I pull up, keep my wing on top, get some turns underneath the front. I'll do a finish right up front here. So I grab myself up a little UV piece of UV material come up off my thread in the bottom here of my table. Now we'll just give it a little trim. Make sure our hair's on top. And there it is. It's a really nice uh, little fly. It's a great fly on slick waters. Um, Nex caddis over the years has been a very, very uh, uh, good fly for finicky trout. And I uh, would like to thank Craig Matthews from Blue Ribbon Flies down in uh, Yellowstone. He come up with this fly years ago. One of his better patterns. He's come up with some good ones. So I'd like to thank you again for catching us on the bench here again today. We look forward to having you join us again. Many more episodes, lots of TV programs, so forth on the website. Check that all out. Fly shops on there. Um, seminars. Lots of good information for you. So thanks again to all our sponsors, and we'll catch you again real soon.